Night in Arlington, the Picklers were out in full force. Had no idea they were called Picklers, by the way. Did you know that, Top? No, no. Yeah, no idea. They're the pickleball fans. That's who we're talking about here. They came to hear and be heard about the county's latest plans to turn the Walter Reed Community Center into a pickleball mecca. New at 11, our Katie Lusso has the first serve. Oh. On the courts. Off the courts, any way you slice it, pickleball and its life on the Walter Reed Community Center courts draws a crowd. The county heard from more than 1,300 people after their first open house in February. Tuesday night, round two. Noise continues to be a, a large issue. Eric Beach is the Park Development uh, Division Chief for the county. He says some of the key concerns include noise, parking, and the layouts. We have reduced the number of courts in the original scope from nine courts to six courts. Uh, that has the effect of reducing some of the impact of noise, uh, parking. He says the courts draw crowds of picklers. People will stand and wait for 20 minutes or more for a game. It's a sport I can still play when my bones are too, too sore for tennis. Dressed for the occasion. But it's my best pickleball shirt. Some might say pickleball is a big deal to this player. Old and young and fat and skinny and black and white and green, everybody can come and play pickleball. For others, it's not so much a disdain for the sport. I enjoy the sport, but I don't know if they'd be as adamant about wanting more courts if they had to live right next to the courts. I'm very much not anti pickleball. What I am is very unhappy with the way the county has planned for dealing with pickleball demand in the county. The county says they're listening. We really wanted to be able to take these concepts, hope we have some good ideas that we can evolve into a solution. Now they are still collecting feedback on all of this. If you want to weigh in, we're going to put a link for you on our website, WUSA9.com. The county tells us they hope to have their design plans in this summer and hope to start construction next year. In Arlington, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.